Hello, everyone. QuickBooks US version is using the sales tax system, while QuickBooks UK version is using the VAT system. In the Philippines, a business is either subject to value-added tax at 12%, which is shouldered by the customers, or the percentage tax in which the percentage depends on the industry and is shouldered by the business owner. If a business is subject to percentage tax, then they can just use the U.S. version of QuickBooks. But if a business is subject to VAT, it is advisable to use the U.K. version since it automatically computes for VAT output and VAT input. However, the U.K. version is a lot more expensive than the U.S. version. But we can still use the U.S. version even though a business is VATable. In this video, I will show you the workaround in using QuickBooks U.S. version, even though a business is VATable. But before we set up VAT, I will first show you how to do the percentage tax in QuickBooks. It's actually fairly easy. You just need to run a profit and loss report. Go to Reports, Company and Financial, and then the Profit and Loss Standard. Set your report to the last fiscal quarter. And then you get your gross sales, which is 5,100, and multiply that by your percentage. 5,100 multiplied by 3% percentage tax. So that's 153 pesos percentage tax payable. And then we go to company, make general journal entries, and then just create the journal entry. So the date is September 30th. Our debit is percentage tax expense of 153 pesos. And then the credit is percentage tax payable of 153 pesos. Just click save and close. We go to the chart of accounts and you can see your percentage tax payable here, 153 pesos. Okay, so that's very easy to do the percentage tax in QuickBooks. Next is we're going to set up VAT in QuickBooks US version. So we go to edit, preferences. And then we go to sales tax, company preferences, and do you charge sales tax? We will choose yes, and then click OK. So all existing customers will be made taxable or vatable, and then all existing non-inventory and inventory parts are also made taxable. I'll click OK. We'll go back to the home page. All right, let's check our customers. I will double click one. Go to sales tax settings. Okay, so it's automatically made taxable. I will click OK. And go to the items and services. I will click one item, double click. And it's also automatically made taxable. I will click OK. The thing in using QuickBooks US version when you are VATable is that you should make all your sales price VAT exclusive because QuickBooks will just add the 12% VAT to your sales price. And QuickBooks also doesn't automatically compute for the VAT input. But what we can do is just we manually enter the VAT input amount when we create the bill or the, write a check. Next is we're going to check our chart of accounts for the accounts that we need for VAT setup. I'll go to the chart of accounts. Once we set up VAT, QuickBooks automatically creates the sales tax payable account, which is a current liability account, this one. This is actually the VAT output. So what we can do is we're going to rename this to VAT output. So just right click and then edit account. And then rename this to VAT output. Okay. Next is we should have a VAT input account, which is a current asset account here. And we should have a VAT payable account, which is a current liability account here. All right. And then let's go to our items and services icon and let's set up the 12% VAT. So I will right click new and then choose sales tax item. And then the sales tax name is VAT output description is value added tax and the rate is of course 12 percent 
the agency is Bureau of Internal Revenue. I will click OK. QuickBooks also automatically create this out of state tax, but we're going to edit this and make this into a VAT exempt item. So VAT exempt. And then description is, I'll just copy VAT exempt. The rate is zero and it goes to the Bureau of Internal Revenue. I'll click OK. Okay, and I'll go to list, sales tax code list. All right, so I have taxable sales and non-taxable sales. This is optional, but we can rename this to VAT. And then VATable sales. And then this one is we can rename this to non-VATable sales. I'll click OK. We'll go back to the home page. I will click create invoices. Choose a customer. The date is October 1st. Let's leave the invoice number and the other information optional. I'm going to purchase 500 pieces of this item. And the price is 150 VAT exclusive. And then we're going to change the customer VAT status to VAT output. And it's 12%. So it automatically adds 9,000 pesos as VAT output. So the total amount is 84,000. I will click save here. You have a prompt that you've changed the tax item for this transaction for this customer. This change will reflect in your current transaction, but do you want to make it permanent to reflect in all your past and future transactions? So if this customer is vatable, I will click yes. All right. And let's check the journal entry for this transaction. Control Y. Okay, so here. So the debit is accounts receivable of 84,000 and then credit to sales income of 75,000 and then inventory asset of 2,680, cost of goods sold of 2,680 as well. And then VAT output is 9,000 pesos. Okay. I'll go back to the home page. And then let's create a VAT input transaction. I will click write checks. And then the bank account will be our petty cash fund. And the vendor name is SNR Novali. I will leave the amount blank for now. So the thing about using QuickBooks US version is that the VAT input is not automatically computed. But a good thing about the sales receipts issued by uh, businesses in the Philippines is that the official receipts already reflects the amount of the VAT input. So we don't have to actually compute. We just need to input the amount in QuickBooks. For example, I have an official receipt from SNR. So 5,685.49 is VAT exclusive. The 12% VAT is already reflected in the official receipt, which is 682.26. So all we need to do is just to type those numbers in QuickBooks. I'll go back to QuickBooks. So let's say this is for office equipment. I'll put in the VAT exclusive amount. So 5,685.49. And then the VAT input is 682.26. Okay. I will click save and close. So now let's create a VAT input and a VAT output report so that we can automatically get our VAT payable. I'll go to reports and then custom reports, transaction detail. Okay. And I'll go to filters and multiple accounts. And I will only choose VAT input and VAT output. I'll click OK. All right, so here's our report. We have a 9,000 VAT output and then 682.26 VAT input. So our VAT payable is 8,317.74. I will rename this report to VAT input and VAT output. I will click OK. And then let's memorize this so that this will be automatically available in the memorize reports list. I'll click save and memorize report group and then to company. I click OK. I'll close this. So moving forward, this report is available here in reports, memorize reports, company, and then VAT input and VAT output report.
Okay, so next is we're going to create a journal entry so that this VAT payable amount will go to VAT payable. So I'll go to company and then make general journal entries. The date is October 31st. I'll start with the VAT output, debit of 9,000. And then next is VAT input of 682.26. And then the VAT payable is 8,317.74. We should put a name in the VAT output. So this should be the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Okay, I will click save and close. All right, so let's customize this report to October 31st. I'll click refresh. So for the month of October, we have already closed our VAT input and our VAT output count. So we're ready to start November with zero amounts. And then let's go to VAT payable. Go to the chart of accounts in the home page. Okay, and go to VAT payable here. So here's our VAT payable. And let's pay our VAT payable. Let's go to the home page and then write checks. So the money comes out from our security bank. And then let's put in a check number. And of course, the vendor is Bureau of Internal Revenue. Let's say the date is November 10. And the account here should be VAT payable of 8,317.74. I will click save and close. I'll click yes. Let's go back to our VAT payable. Okay, so it's already closed. So we have already paid our VAT payable for the month of October. Okay, so that's it. That's the workaround when we are using QuickBooks US version, even though our business is VATable. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.